Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Roots.com. Now there's a way to install Clockwork Mod Recovery using the low key method, a low key, low key, uh, whatever you want to call it. And also, um, this will work on AT&T and Verizon, uh, which have block bootloaders. Um, DJR Bliss of XDA Developers user uh, has developed a method uh, where it bypasses the lock bootloader, so you can install Clockwork Mod Recovery and also install custom ROM. So let's go ahead and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, very easy to do. You'll need a rooted at and Galaxy S4, or if you have a Verizon, also you need a rooted phone first. Uh, for at and Galaxy S4, go ahead and use the Moto Chopper method to get root, and also for Verizon Galaxy S4, um, you can use Moto Chopper method, but you'll have to install um, a pre-release kernel, then run the Moto Chopper, and then reinstall stock kernel. And once you have a rooted AT&T Galaxy S4 or Verizon Galaxy S4, um, go ahead and go to galaxys4root.com. Um, I've put all the files there, and you don't need a computer. I made um, I made it so you can do it on your on your phone. All right, if you go to galaxys4root.com, uh, you'll see Clockwork Mod Twerp Recovers here. Um, go ahead and download the appropriate one. If you have AT&T, go ahead and download the AT&T version, Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you have Verizon, I'll download the Verizon. Make sure you download the correct one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download the AT&T version here. And let me go ahead and download this uh, real quick. And let, let me skip this. I can download this. Well, let me just keep rolling here. Um, so just wait five seconds. And let me go ahead and just type uh, record it. Watch, watch, record it. Eh. TV anywhere. All right, this will download uh, the recovery.lok. That's actually recovery for your AT&T Galaxy S4. Or if you did Verizon, um, go ahead and download the Verizon one. And then also download lock right, right here. Um, you'll see download lock. Um, you can use either buttons. They're the same files. Um, go go ahead and download lock lock Loki, Loki. Is that what we're gonna call it? Let's just call it Loki, uh, Loki. And I'm gonna go ahead and download the Loki here. Um, <laughs> sassy flavor. These things are actually kind of funny. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and download those two files: recovery um, dot lok and uh, Loki Flash. But it renamed it to dot bin. All right, next you'll need ES File Explorer. So go ahead and download ES File Explorer. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to my SD card here. And it should have downloaded to your download folder. Um, sometimes it downloads your external, uh, if you have external SD card inserted, then you can go to slash storage, uh, extend, extend, no, I don't have it. Where'd it go? <laughs> All right, here we go. It's got to be here. Ah. Um, I don't know where it downloaded to. It says it's downloaded. Oh, let me refresh. There we go. Hit the refresh button. There's a refresh button. Um, so go ahead and refresh there. And we're going to go ahead and rename this back to Loki.flash. Rename it. I'll get rid of the dot bin. All right. All right, you should have two files, Loki Flash and recovery.lok file, lock file uh, for your your model. If you have AT&T, make sure you download the AT&T version. If you have Verizon, uh, Verizon. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the two of these files here. Go ahead and hit copy down here. Do that. Copy. And we're going to go ahead and go to uh, slash and we're going to go to data and we're going to go to local so that's data local tmp and go ahead and paste it here all right and you'll have the two files there and you'll need an app called terminal emulator so go ahead and download android terminal emulator uh, and install it all right, and that should take one second. Go ahead and open it. All right, and go ahead and type. I'll zoom in here so you can see better. 
go ahead and type SU and this will pop up super user permission make sure you hit allow all right or grants and that you'll be a super user now go ahead and type CD slash or CD space uh, slash uh, data slash local oops slash TMP exactly like that this will get into the temporary directory where we copied the files uh, just now using ES File Explorer. Now we're going to change the permission, so go ahead and type chmod space 755 space a star. All right. All right, we are almost done here. Um, next, we're going to actually flash the recovery. So go ahead and type dot slash uh, low key underscore flash like that space recovery space recovery dot l o k all right and go ahead and hit enter and this will flash the recovery and if you get uh, low key flashing complete you're good to go you can uh, reboot into recovery by typing this reboot space whoops recovery and you should have a uh, clock with mod recovery all right, and now you should be able to install custom ROMs and all that good stuff. All right, and it should say rebooting recovery. You can also use the buttons, manual buttons, turn off your phone, uh, hold down the uh, volume volume up center and the power. There we go, so I've got uh, clock for my recovery here. And let me go ahead and show you that better. There we go. I'll do make a backup ROM. First thing I suggest you do after installing Clock for My Recovery, uh, but that's how you install Clock for My Recovery for your AT&T uh, or Verizon Galaxy S4, and uh, now you can go install ROMs, uh, backup ROMs, restore ROMs, all that good stuff. So go ahead and enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. And as always, uh, if you like this video, is don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there. And if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week with probably week tips, hacks, and more. And uh, yeah, that's it. And stay high on Android. And I'll have another method for installing Twerp, which is really easy. All right, see y'all later.